Hey guys, Happy Splasher here. Good evening. So right now we're going to continue with the world event. So yeah, let's keep going. Currently we're on the chapter two of Vampire. It's called the Bloodless Coup. We can take a look at the history and we can see here that the final boss is Aphrodite, which means that if it's not Aphrodite and it's not Red Woman, it is Send Circuit Scorp for chapter three. So in this case, we'll head right into the roadmap and start this off. All right, this first quest here, defeat uh, pretender we'll hit the go and this brings us to a battle and they do have a skill so at the end of the turn we'll give toxin to a random enemy why didn't you just poison me so much extra effort if i just poisoned you there would be other contenders for the throne and i would have to fight for power again the throne will be brought to me on a silver platter you'll lose all supporters and you'll have to leave so presumptuous Trust me, I'll find a way to stop you. It's in battle. Okay, let's take a look at the buildings. And we'll attack on the open lane A. And there we go. Okay, that was Pretender. Hey, the music does cut off quite quickly. That's, that's kind of cool. Alright, we will now continue. Okay, we have our next quest here. Activate Epic Obelisk in Place of Power three times. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to the Place of Power. As you can see, the rewards for the Obelisk activation are now increased. We'll activate this Epic Obelisk three times. Skip the animation. Epic! Nice. We got some bonus runes. Very good. And more importantly, we are now complete with that quest. We'll head back to the roadmap. And continue. It's gonna skip the ad. All right, we have our next set of quests here. Up top are open 10 chests for victory over other players. Behind that, we have find 900 souls of epic heroes. On the bottom, we have summon the demigods, gods of war, gladiators, or perform the miracle summons two times. We'll start with this quest up top. This one is open 10 chests for victories over other players. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to League. We do have a couple of these chests from before, but we will need to do a, uh, we'll need to do more battles afterwards. As you can see here, we do have some chests that are opening. And if we go back, whoops, wrong one. <laughs> Got to go out of here. We're not doing expedition right now. We are, but we're, we're not covering this right now. I'm gonna head back to the roadmap. As you can see, it does count for this quest. We will need to do some more of these chests, which we'll only get by opening up more chests from winning so yeah we will see you guys later all right guys we are back currently we're on this quest open 10 chests for victories over other players we have done this offline and we will now continue oh, gotta skip another ad here oh, just, there, oh, there we go okay cool we have our next quest here find 900 souls of epic heroes we'll hit the go and this brings us over to the summon hall let me fix this should be better there we go okay yeah we, we brought us over to the summon hall we're gonna head over to the mighty pass and seeing if there are any epic chests over here we have not unlocked those yet looking around we'll head over to the valor pass and there are some, but still not quite enough. Don't have any over here in League. Could actually do this one over here, the Spider Queen, or the Indestructible Army. There are rewards of Epic Souls, and yeah, we'll see what we can do. Okay, seems pretty straightforward. Just gotta deal... Yeah. Well, they just gotta deal one damage to us. <laughs> to clear out some heroes. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Something over here. Also want to avoid taking damage if possible. Yeah. Pretty much just guarding all the lanes and there we go. All right, we have what looks like our epic souls. All right, we also got some runes, which is nice. We'll head back to the roadmap. 
And then we'll do the bottom quest down here. This one is summon the demigods, gods of war, gladiators, or perform the miracle summons two times. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to the summon hall. We're going to do those two summons. Let's start with this one over here in the demigods. We do have this other free summon that's going to happen in a few hours, but we're going to let that go for now. And then we'll open one more. And there we go. Epic! Oh, I guess we could have also got our epic souls here as well. <laughs> that's fine. All right, we'll head back to the roadmap and continue. Okay, we have our next quest here, defeat Mocker. We'll hit the go. And this brings us to a battle. And they have a skill, so they summon 12 pentagrams on the allied cells. You can speed up the process and save the lives of innocent people. Abdicate the throne and no one else will get hurt. It's your mission to protect the people of Pangea. Says the love goddess after colluding with a cold-blooded killer? What about your mission? You're supposed to sow love, not death. There are the pentagrams. Okay, let's take a look at the buildings. And we have this piece of ice that freezes a random enemy, which in this case is just here. We're going to attack on the open lane B. And there we go. So much for Mocker. We'll head back to the roadmap and continue. Okay, we got an ad. Let's get out of here. We have our next set of quests up top. We have soul buying any of the event rares five times. Behind that, we have boost legendary heroes using soul dust four times. On the bottom, we have find 1400 souls of the event epic. So we'll start with this quest up top. This one, soul bind any of the event rares five times. We have these heroes from before. That is why this one is complete. And we will now continue. Okay, we have our next quest over here. Boost legendary heroes using soul dust four times. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to the squad. We're going to boost any of these legendary heroes that we have over here. In case we're going to go filter for legendaries. And then we're going to go all the way to the front. Save ourselves a little bit of dust because the lower level heroes do cost a little less. But as you can see as well, the cost does go up if you boost repeated levels. We're going to hop around for a bit. Copy number two. Number three. And one more over here for number four. All right, we'll head back to the roadmap and do the bottom quest. This one is find 1400 souls of the event epics. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to the summon hall. We're going to head out of here and then head out of the roadmap and back to our squad. And then we're going to filter for the epics and look to evolve those in order to get our souls. In this case, let's do the Red Woman because we know that she will not be the boss and we don't need to save those souls. Go over to the Evolve, and once we do the Evolve, we'll have enough souls in order to complete that quest. We'll head back to the roadmap now and continue. Okay, we have our next quest here, Defeat Cirrus. We'll hit the go. And this brings us to a battle. And they do have a skill. Before the ally attacks, we'll give vampirism to three random allies. Tell me more about your vision. A dark female figure majestically ascending the throne. Is that all? You want to stage a coup and destroy hundreds of lives because of this? Have you forgotten that I worship the bloody goddess Kathori? Bloody sacrifices and bringing chaos is what I do. Interesting. Okay, let's take a look at the buildings. And we'll summon on the open lane B. These religious fanatics have gone completely crazy. I will definitely disband all cults after I deal with your plot. Assert. Okay, that was Cirrus. We'll head back to the roadmap. And continue. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> Okay, we have our next set of quests here. Up top is spend 700 dust. Behind that, we have soul buying any of the event epics five times. On the bottom, we have spend 7,500 runes. We're going to save our runes for chapter three. And in this case, we'll do this quest up top. This one is spend 700 soul dust. We'll hit the go. 
And this brings us back to the squad. I'm going to filter for our legendaries and then also go back to those heroes that we boosted before. Reason why is it'll make it slightly easier in order to get this going. This one is just shy. Let's see if we're for level 17. Also just shy. Do we have one? Oh, actually, they're both the same anyways. That's fine. We'll boost one over here. A little short. And then we'll do one more. And there we go. So that was the spend 700 soul dust. Also not here. All right, we'll continue. Okay, we have our next quest, soul bind any of the event epics five times, as mentioned before on the rares. Whoops. My apologies there. The quest is soul bind the event epics five times. We do have these heroes from before, and so that is why this one is also complete. We will now continue. Okay, we have our next quest here, defeat the arrogant one. We'll hit the go. And this brings us to a battle. And they do have a skill that at the end of the turn will give toxin to two random enemies. Your plan is not perfect, Circuit. So many deaths will inevitably arouse suspicion, and there will be no peaceful transfer of power. You will have to fight my army, and you will know you will lose. I'm not the only one increasing my influence, Lord Protector. The religion of the Bloody Goddess will soon spread all over Pangea. The Red Priestess will convince everyone that I was the one in that vision. See? I've got everything covered. I've dealt with worse situations. Poison, perhaps, though. Alright, let's take a look at the buildings. And we'll attack on the open lane A. Oh. And there we go. That was the arrogant one. We'll head back to the roadmap. And continue. Okay, we have our next set of quests here. Up top, we have collect resources and gold mine three times. Behind that, we have perform rebirth with any of the event epics five times. On the bottom, we have spend 500 gems. We'll start with this quest up top. This one is collect resources and gold mine three times. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to the gold mine. We will need to complete gold mine a few times. And in this case, we'll do those offline and we will see you guys later. All right, guys, we are back. Currently, we're on this quest to collect resources and gold mine three times. We have done this offline and now we will continue. OK, looks like we got an ad. And more importantly, we have another quest here. This one is perform rebirth with the event epics five times. We do have these heroes from before, and we've also done the rebirths as well. We're going to do this bottom quest down here. This one is spend 500 gems. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to the summon hall. We do need to spend a little bit more gems, which we could do by doing some more summons. But more importantly, and probably a little easier, is that we're going to go over to legendary draft and we'll spend some gems, as you'll see here. It does count for this quest, and we'll do some legendary draft offline in the meantime. But we will now continue. Okay, we have our next quest here. Get two legendary heroes in Summon's Orange Chest. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to the League. I'm going to check out something in the Expedition, because there was an award for finishing the quest. I want to see if that actually does count. See this legendary chest over here. Legendary. Epic. It looks like it counts as a legendary chest. And we'll see if it does count for this quest. Oh, it does. That's great. All right. Then we need to open up one more. And in this case, we potentially have one in the Valor Pass. Uh, if we do a little bit more earning, that would be good. Yeah, you know what? I think we're just going to save for the Valor Pass instead. Normally, we would actually just open one of these chests. Uh, but I guess we also need more space for expedition, so I might as well just open up this last one. Legendary. Legendary. Okay, well, we are now done with that quest. We'll head back to the roadmap and continue. Okay, we're on the final quest of Chapter 2. This is Defeat Aphrodite. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to the journey. <laughs> we have a battle here. We'll... Let's check it out. It is Aphrodite, and they do have a skill. They'll summon 12 pentagrams on the allied cells. Are you even privy to the details of the plan to build a vampire? What's in it for you? I think we'll divide the power later. I'm tired of my divine duties. I'll deal with earthly matters for a change. So this is just a game for you? Of course it is. 
I must admit, the idea of a female empire amuses me immensely. I will not allow you to play with the lives of the people of Pangaea. But it sounds so liberal. Okay, let's take a look at the buildings. And we'll attack on the open lane D. And there we go. And that was Aphrodite. We'll head back to the roadmap. And continue. Okay, here is the end card for Chapter 2. Aphrodite. Aphrodite always believed that nothing in this world is worthy of her attention except love. She preferred not to interfere in earthly affairs, even if Pangaea was under a serious threat. But everything changed, and Aphrodite lost faith in love, unable to move on after the betrayal of her lover. Her heart hardened, and everything she does now is playing with people's lives. That's not good. Okay, we'll grab the rewards. And we'll head into Chapter 3. Uh, Divine Providence. Everything is going according to the circuit's plan. Those who hold power change. People will convert to the new faith. But her plan can't be perfect. There must be some flaw. We need to find it as soon as possible because calls to remove the Lord Protector can already be heard everywhere. There's a revolt. Okay, here are the rewards for Chapter 3. We'll be able to get 1k copies of the Circuit Sends Corp, along with some Miracle Scrolls, a medal, and then also a gallery portrait. We'll head to the adventure. And at this point, we will stop the video and continue on later for Chapter 3. This is Happy Splasher, signing off.